My name is Ru, my pronouns are they, them. I am a queer asylum seeker from Malaysia with heritage of Baba Nyonya and some Thai. If you're BIPOC and queer, or just BIPOC in general, check your capacity before watching this video. However, if you are white, make the capacity for it. My current obsessions with art would be ceramics. I'm really enjoying spray paint and graffiti in different mediums. The reason I got onto all these things was because I couldn't sit with my thoughts. I didn't get to express much of myself growing up, so I did things that allowed me to distract myself. I think what I enjoy most about ceramics, the fact that everything you make, at some point, it's probably gonna break. And I think I was just practicing moss. When I'm doing ceramics, I'm kind of like more grounded and all I care about is how it feels on my skin. If it's stable, if it's in the middle. It's literally called centering when you like center the clay and I feel more centered when I center the clay. I definitely just had to do art to survive. It's not work because I got no work right, so I had to do something with my life. I moved here when I was 18. I was able to be an international student when I first came here. I thought I had a good future ahead of me. I have always known I was trans, but for the first time when I moved here, I had the chance to think about myself. Before I came up to my parents, I thought, oh, it'll be okay if I go back home because I haven't got a choice with the visa. If they support me, at least they can keep me safe. But they were really unhappy about it they will send me to conversion therapy. That was when I knew, I was like, okay, I cannot go back. One thing I'm really happy about is how much community I have found. I noticed a massive thing is BIPOC people help BIPOC people. Community has brought so much sense of family I've never had. And I think I'm getting the appreciation I've never gotten growing up. And I think that makes the potential goodbye a bit harder because I've never felt such joy and love. To any BIPOC queers out there, I love you. You are very cared for. And if you're lacking community, reach out to me if you'd like to because I want you to have community too. Find yourself some community.